Introducing Matcha Konomi's hand-carved matcha stone mill. This stone mill is produced using Aji stone, which is well known in Kagawa Prefecture, Japan. This stone has been called the diamond of granite because of its beautiful face and durability. The handle and tray are made from smoked bamboo. The matcha stone mill is one of the most traditional Japanese instruments and will produce the most finely ground, fresh, and delicious matcha you have ever tasted. All of our stones are handmade and only a few stone mills are made per month, so supply is limited. Unboxing your matcha stone mill. First, locate the base. The base is the large part of the stone with the smoked bamboo tray. Next, find and attach the smaller of the two stones with the carvings. The correct stone will have two holes that will line up with the base. If you are wanting to use your stone immediately, this is when you would sprinkle tencha on the stone and then continue with setup. This will help protect the stone and start the grinding process. Now you need to find and attach the larger stone piece with the carvings. This part of the mill will have two small carvings for your hands and a hole for the bamboo handle. Place it on top of the other stone. Located in the accessory box, you will find a bamboo handle. Secure the handle into the proper hole and then use a rubber hammer to secure it firmly in place. Lastly, you will find the bamboo bowl and brush. You will place the bamboo bowl below the tray hole to catch the matcha. You will then use the brush when you are finished grinding to brush the finely ground matcha into the bowl. How to use your matcha stone mill. Make sure first that there is tencha between the two stones in the joint, as mentioned previously. This is important so that stones are not grinding against each other without any tea leaves to protect the carvings. Next, fill the hole on top of the stone mill with tencha and begin to turn the handle counterclockwise. Counterclockwise is important as this is how the stone was designed to grind and push out the matcha from the joint. Now, slowly rotate the mill and put leaves in little by little. When the stone mill becomes full of powder in the mill, fine powder will begin to come out from the joint. If you rotate too fast, rough powder will come out, and tea tastes better when ground slowly and producing a fine dust-like powder. Now take the powder out from the slit with the brush and then brush all of the powder from the tray into the hole where you have your bowl below. Once you are finished grinding the amount of matcha that you want, consume immediately. Make sure to store it properly away from heat, light, and humidity. When the stone is not in use, we recommend you use it as part of your interior decor as it's truly a piece of art to be admired. 